Alrighty YouTube, what's going on? Finally got my truck out of the shop. We just installed a 8 inch rough country suspension lift on this 2002 Ford F-250. Uh, went with 20 by 12 inch moto metal wheels. These are the 0962 series wheels. Those are 37 by 1350 Gladiator X Comp uh, tires. I went ahead and opted to put the Dyna beads on the inside of the tires. They're riding pretty good. Um, just to kind of give you guys a quick review of this truck, I did not do lift blocks in the rear. I did full uh, full springs on the rear. Did the uh, carrier bearing drop kit for the hanger bearing. I also did dual steering stabilizers on this truck. And I also did uh, the sway bar link drop kit that they offer from Rough Country. Um, as far as the kit goes, it seems to be really, really solid. Those springs are stiff though. Um, if you're looking for this thing to ride like a Cadillac, <laughs> well, it, let's just say it rides like a, a big truck with an eight inch lift on it with some 37s on it. It's a little stiff. I don't mind that. I don't drive this truck that often. Um, to give it a real quick review, I do have one issue with this truck that I'm still trying to iron out, and that is axle wrap on this truck. Now. I put the carrier bearing drop kit in it, and you can't see it from this angle. But anyways, what's happening is, I've talked to Rough Country's tech support. With that carrier bearing drop kit in this truck, this pinion angle is supposed to be correct for this truck. And it is. I'll give them that much. It's okay. What's happening is, when I accelerate, this thing is wrapping. That could be fixed by either track bars or lowering the carrier bearing. Well, according to Rough Country, that is supposed to be the correct bear, the uh, correct uh, pinion angle, and I'm not supposed to be having any vibrations. Well, I am. So here's where we're at. First thing I'm going to do is, is this truck's got 200,000 miles on it. It's got the factory U joints in it. Those U joints are used to running in the exact same position for 200,000 miles. Now I've changed the pinion angle on them, and I'm getting some vibration when I first accelerate. So probably what it is. I need to replace the U-joints. I'm gonna do that first, because that's the cheapest, quickest fix that we can do. If that does not work, what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna put some shims in this truck. I'm going to actually put an inclinometer on the, uh, the yoke over here, and I'm gonna take a measurement there, and take a measurement at the carrier bearing, and see how much we need to shim up under this spring right here to change the angle of the pinion a little bit, see if it fixes it. Like I said, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the uh, U joints first and see what happens, but you know this old truck's in really, really good shape to be a 2002 model, and it just looks absolutely mean as hell. I am more than satisfied with this truck. As far as the lift goes, Rough Country's got a solid lift. Like I said, it's a little bit stiff, but I am more than pleased with it. The truck looks absolutely awesome. Their kit is very solid. I just got a couple of minute things I'm gonna have to work out. Like I said, once I get that drive shaft vibration taken care of, I think I'm going to be absolutely tickled to death with this kit, but overall, it's a solid lift kit. I like it. I really do. It's a little stiff, but the truck's got 8 inches up 137, so it's going to ride a little stiff. But other than that, Rough Country, you guys did a great job. Great kit. Like I said, all I'm going to do is uh, swap out some U-joints and uh, see what happens. So I'll uh, let you guys know if that fixes it. So here we go.